The Appalachian Advantage plan is the simpler, better way to get the phone you actually want. Instead of paying hundreds of dollars up front, simply pay the taxes up front and a few extra dollars on your monthly bill and get the phone you really want. It's called the Appalachian Advantage and is available at Appalachian Wireless. Tuesday, Cedar held its open house and reception for the Future of Work in Appalachia Student Fair. Their program focuses on moving the Appalachian region move forward through the means of educating students about innovation and entrepreneurship. President John Justice mentions the region's involvement in the fair. Okay, it's, it's for K through 12. Uh, a student can enter a project in one of seven subject categories, science, math, English literature, art, music, technology, multimedia, or social studies. And they entered in one of their uh, of three grade levels, the K through four projects are judged against each other, the fifth through eighth grade, and then ninth through twelve. And the the guidelines, they have to meet the guidelines for that particular subject category, but every project has to connect to at least one of the seven pillars of the SOAR blueprint. With over 144 projects from 15 schools, students competed for cash prizes. In each of the three grade levels, there were 21 category awards, 63 distributed overall, with first, second, and third place winners. Then the next level is our grade level overall. That's where the first place in each of the seven categories are judged against each other in their particular grade level to determine that grade level's first, second, and third place project. So we do that for all three grade levels. So that gives us nine more winners. And of course, as they win, this is a cash awards program. So as they, as they continue and they, they advance, they get more money uh, for each level that they win. So the final round of judging is all 21 judges uh, have to get together uh, and decide the best overall project out of the top three. The top three being the first place K through four, first place five through eight, first place nine through 12. So from that comes our Student Project of the Year Award winner. During the fair, Mountaintop spoke with technology and multimedia first and second place winners, Brandon Hackney and Isaac Eli, about their projects. It is a robot to be used in indoor nurseries and greenhouses. And it goes up to rows of plants and uses a distance sensor on the front to notice when it's coming up, approaching a plant and it uses elevator systems to rise up above it and go over top of it and it uses a distance sensor and vision sensor on the bottom to see the color of the plant and how tall it is. So it reports all that data back to the computer to see how ripe or alive the plant is and how much it's grown and it also uses that data to pour like NutriGrow things in there with the attached servo motor. CAD is also known as computer aided design um, CAD, you use software to model, um, you can model prototypes and parts that you can use for um, industrial, again industrial and mechanical devices. I've created uh, parts for my partner's project. I've um, created parts that work together for mechanical devices, um, toys that you can put together, different parts that all fit together um, and uh, you just go into a software and create what you want to create, uh, put it onto a chip and then you use the 3D printer here to 3D print. And lastly, while students were excited to earn awards for their projects, Justice says he hopes students see what's possible for our region. For one thing, uh, I think they see some projects that will let them see what's possible that maybe they didn't think of before, you know, a type of business. Uh, or a particular problem and, and how they might can solve that problem by looking at other students' work. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.